Today, my biggest fear turned into reality. People want me to draw the worst, most hated thing one could ever draw. Smiling lips with teeth. So after watching a bunch of tutorials, staring at reference pictures, and trying to draw a bunch of smiles, I figured out why this is so hard to draw, and now I'm gonna break down to you how to avoid the most common mistakes when drawing smiles with teeth. So the first common mistake to avoid is to just start drawing right away. One of the best advices I can give you when drawing portraits is to start with simple dots. You stare at your reference picture for a while, absorb all the visual information you can, and then you can add some lines to help you create the shape of the mouth. When drawing the lines, you want to make sure you're paying attention to the angles and shapes of things. So you're not really drawing a mouth or lips or teeth. You're drawing a square, an angle, an oval shape. Like you try to transform what you have in front of you into shapes and you draw that first. Basically, this is how you set yourself up for success when drawing faces. If you don't get the proportions right in the beginning, it doesn't matter how perfect your shading or your coloring or your textures are it's gonna look weird okay so like the first thing you need to get right is the proportions another thing that people usually do when drawing lips that are smiling is to draw the top lip like this which is how it usually is when you're not smiling but when you smile your top lip especially is stretched so it looks more like this it's longer thinner and this curve on top is definitely more soft than it usually is when your mouth is relaxed now we're going to talk about our big biggest enemy, the teeth. And this is where you want to be careful so your mouth doesn't end up looking like this, okay? Tip number one, try to measure the teeth in comparison with the top lip and roughly mark the distances of each teeth like this. This is just a sketch, you're just marking the positions, you're not making full on decisions right now. You're trying to fit all the amount of teeth you have in this space and usually the two front teeth are bigger and wider and usually, not always, but usually, if the smile is super wide, the teeth will end before the corners of the mouth and you're gonna end up with this empty triangles on the corners and do not I repeat do not draw the lines between the teeth okay this is the most important thing if you take something from this video take this advice okay do not draw the lines that divide each teeth a trick that usually works for me is to draw the contour at the bottom of the teeth like this and just draw a little line to separate each teeth like right at the edge the inter section of each teeth in, at the bottom without drawing the full line in between them. You're usually gonna see most of the top teeth and depending on how open the mouth is or maybe the person is laughing, you might be able to see a little bit of the bottom teeth but that's more rare, it depends really on the position of the mouth and how open the mouth is. So if you're drawing without a reference, it's just safer to just not draw the bottom teeth at all. Another thing that really depends from person to person is how much of the gums you're gonna see. Sometimes you can see them, sometimes Sometimes you can't. If you do see them, they are usually a bit darker than the teeth but lighter than the lips and you can create a dark shadow right under the top lip to create some depth. Again, if you're drawing without a reference, just keep the teeth like this without us being able to see the gums because it's just another trap to make your drawing look weird, okay? It's hard to figure this out, especially if you don't have a reference, just, you know, get a reference, okay? Just get a reference to draw this if you really want your mouth to be super open and you want to see a lot inside the mouth if you actually really want to draw the gums for some reason is that's what you're going for you can do the same thing we did at the bottom of the teeth so basically just marking the intersections of each teeth at the top like the shape of each teeth it's like gonna be this little curves now it's time to make your drawing look a little bit more advanced and the easiest most instant way you can do that is to add the darkness where it belongs and that's usually the corners of the mouth so those empty triangles in the corners they are usually really dark and inside the mouth and just by adding these dark spots you create the contrast that makes everything kind of like take its place and look a little more three-dimensional so like as you can see it instantly looks better and this is also where you decide the range of contrast you want to apply to your drawing so how intense and how three-dimensional you want to get if you're working with black and white or pencil like this if you're working with color you can also use black or even like a dark gray or a dark brown instead of black for example and you're gonna get a softer result 
for the teeth you don't want it to be just full on white especially if you're coloring or shading because then they're, they're gonna like stand out too much so basically you can shade the back teeth a little bit but you can also add a little bit of shading in between the teeth but again you're gonna be really careful it's super super light i'm using like my lightest gray to do this and my lightest beige to do this with the pencil like you can just hatch like really really softly just to create a little bit of that slight curve that each teeth have and just to make the back teeth look farther back inside the mouth and by the way if you're liking this video and you want to leave a like and subscribe you would totally make my day but back to the drawing for the lips you usually have the bottom lips thicker and rounder than the top lip especially if you're smiling and to color or shade it the top lip usually has a little bit of a more uniform tone and the bottom lip gets more variation in shadow so you have the very bottom of both lips darker and then they become lighter in the middle and then the bottom lip gets darker again closer to the opening of the mouth on top of it if you want to make the lips a little bit more like plumper and fuller you can add more contrast and make them a little bit thicker like this one that i'm doing right here and if you want to create like a lip gloss effect you can leave some white light spots like this or even add them later with a white gel pen or a white pencil also works just remember that the corner of the lips are darker and they get lighter in the middle now you might be wondering okay i get how to draw smiles now but how do i add it to a full face and it is actually a little tiny bit different than drawing a relaxed face so first you're gonna start by sketching a face like you normally would so you start with a circle turn it into an oval shape mark a line or curve to divide the face vertically and horizontally in this case the face is kind of turned on an angle a little bit so the middle line is actually a curve and as i showed you before i like to start positioning the elements slowly with dots first just to make sure i have the right proportions and here's where a smiling face is different than a normal non-smiling face okay when we smile the bottom of the eyes rise a little bit and we see a lot less inside the eye usually on a relaxed face we see like the bottom half of the circle inside the eye but on a smiling face the bottom part of the eye is higher and it's covering the bottom of the circle of the eye right and this makes it look more like a genuine smile if you draw normal eyes on a smiling face it's gonna look like a fake smile so make sure that not only the mouth is smiling but the eyes are also smiling otherwise you're just gonna get like a weird facial expression it's just gonna look weird another difference in the proportions of a smiling face is that the mouth is stretched so it's longer than usual in this case the left side is almost as long as the left eye when in a relaxed face the corners of the mouth usually align with the pupils of the eyes i totally ruined this right eye here it's totally not aligned with the whole drawing so i decided to make another example and in this one she's more laughing than smiling so i exaggerated even more the tension in the facial muscles and because her facial muscles are so engaged everything is going a little bit higher than it usually is in a relaxed face so even the nose i would normally draw it a little bit lower but i brought it up a little bit just to make the face seem a little bit more natural and because her mouth is so open we can actually see a little bit inside of it so instead of making it all full-on black inside the mouth i'm leaving a lighter spot at the bottom like this to be this body part that i cannot pronounce the name in english for some reason this is the hardest word for me everyone makes fun of me when i try to say it so i'm not going to but this is what i'm doing here and this is how you draw smiles and smiling faces again if you're just starting out i really recommend using reference pictures because the shit's hard okay and drawing smiles is no joke i was really insecure for doing this video and i am really scared this video is gonna suck and you guys are gonna think i am horrible at what i do so let me know in the comments if that's what you think yeah i'm insecure i'm insecure okay i'm human anyway i hope to see you again in my next video bye Ha, ha, ha.